it's Maddie for Fab Lab. One of our TV episodes this season was about the way science and technology are helping to solve the water crisis. Recently, this topic really hit home for me. In my home state of Michigan, a city called Flint is dealing with a serious lead contamination issue in their drinking water. You may be wondering, what's the problem with lead? Lead is a soft, silvery, heavy metal. It's atomic number 82 on the periodic table of the elements. Lead is used in batteries, x-ray protective vests, and historically for piping. However, it's also a neurotoxin, meaning if it's consumed, it can cause hearing loss, learning disabilities, speech, and behavioral problems in children. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, the United States Federal Office that writes environmental laws, as little as five parts per billion is the level of concern for lead found in drinking water. In Flint Homes, a Virginia Tech research team tested lead levels in drinking water and found it regularly over 100 parts per billion. One home's level was a whopping 13,000 parts per billion. So how did this happen? Flint used to purchase water from the city of Detroit, which treated the water with a water stabilizing chemical called orthophosphate. It's this chemical that helped reduce corrosion and formed a protective coat over the water pipes, literally life-saving chemistry at work. In order to save money, Flint decided to change its water supply to the Flint River. This river water contained eight times more chloride ions than Detroit's water due to the Flint River collecting road salt used to de-ice in the winter. The excess chloride made the new water 19 times more corrosive than the previous supply. When the Flint River water flowed into the city's old pipes, it not only corroded the pipes, but it also leached out lead. When residents turned on the tap, the water was discolored, it smelled and tasted bad due to the corrosion and the lead contamination. And because this water is unsafe to drink, the National Guard and the Red Cross have begun passing out bottled water along with water filters to affected residents. One thing I found inspiring is that in this time of need, even celebrities are getting involved. Big Sean and Jimmy Fallon each donated $10,000 to the crisis. Puff Daddy, Eminem, Wiz Khalifa, and Mark Wahlberg are donating over 1 million bottles of water. If you want to get involved, we've listed some links below for more information and organizations to learn how to help out. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, check out more Fab Labs videos here, and don't forget to subscribe so you can see new videos every week.